Hey, how's it going? I'm Ben Lindell, and today I'm going to be showing you how I use the Strip Silence plugin in Pro Tools. Strip Silence is basically a powerful noise gate that allows you to separate information inside the regions by how loud or quiet it is. I'm going to be using it today to separate the musical information that I want to keep from all the noise and ambience that's in between. And of course it's going to do this all automatically, so it's going to save me a bunch of time. So uh, let's get started. So here's my session we're going to be cleaning up today. First things first, let me play you my tambourine track. Now pay attention to in between the tambourine hits, all the noise, the jangling, the ambience, whatnot that's going on. Now depending on the genre of music, I may want to leave that jangling in. That's kind of, could be the vibe of the track. But since this is like a pop hip hop kind of track, I really just need to be as clean as possible. So I'm going to need to edit out all this extraneous noise. Now I could do this by hand, by just clicking through and deleting one by one, over and over again. As you can see, I have about 50 more of these to do. That's not really a good use of my time, so I can use Strip Silence to actually do this all automatically for me. Let me go ahead and undo that. I can go to the edit menu and select strip silence or I could use the keyboard shortcut which on Mac is command U or on PC it would be control U. So to use strip silence I'm first going to select my region and there you see a whole bunch of white boxes being drawn around my regions. Now what's inside the white boxes is the audio that's going to be kept once I strip the silence. So as you can see there's a few areas here that aren't exactly what I want to keep and there's some that are too long in the front, too big in the back. So we need to go through and adjust the settings to get this so it's just keeping the tambourine hits that I want to hear. The first parameter that we're going to adjust is the strip threshold. Now anything below this level is going to be stripped away and anything above it is going to be kept inside these white boxes. So as I'm going to adjust this, you're going to see the white boxes focus in more on the tambourine hits that I want to keep. There we go. First I'm going to adjust the region start pad, just to make sure I'm not cutting off any beginnings to my tambourine hit. And then I'm going to adjust the region end pad, just to make sure I get all the tail from each tambourine hit. There we go, it looks pretty good. So now I have three options to finish this off. First is to extract. Now what this will actually do is remove all the audio inside the white boxes. Basically the opposite of what I'm trying to do here today. Second option is to separate. And what this is going to do is it's going to create regions in and around the white boxes. So I can go through and manually delete each region. And it's not quite as automatic as I'd like it to be. Now the third option is strip. This is the one I use all the time. What this is going to do is it's just going to keep the audio inside the white boxes and strip away everything else. So there we go. Now I have four regions that contain my four tambourine hits. I just need to add fades before and after each region to make sure there's no clicks or pops. And I'm all good to go. So the cool thing about Strip Silence is now that I have my settings dialed in for my tambourine track, I can just go on to other regions and apply the same settings to get the same results. Except in this case, because as you can see, we have one big white box. And the reason for this is because we didn't adjust the minimum strip duration. Right now it's set at 497 milliseconds, and what that's saying is that for something to be stripped away, it needs to be at least 497 milliseconds away from the other box. So what I'm going to do is just drag that down and suddenly I have white boxes around each one of my tambourine hits just how I want it. So I'm going to press strip. So there we go. Now I have all the silence stripped out of my tambourine track. But as I mentioned before, you want to create fades before and after each region to make sure there's no clicks or pops. So a quick way to do that is to select all of your regions and hit command F or control F on a PC to bring up your fade window. And then I'm just going to set it for 10 milliseconds. And what this is going to do is it's going to put a fade in and a fade out on each region automatically for me. So there we go. Now let's listen to my track and hear the difference. So as you can hear, it's much, much cleaner. But with any editing, it's always advised that you listen through all of your edits just to make sure that you didn't accidentally do something you weren't supposed to, such as cut out too much or leave in something you didn't want to be there. So that's how you use Strip Silence. 
Now today I was just editing on a tambourine track, but I use Strip Silence every day to clean up background vocals, toms, I mean anything with silence that I want to clean up. Now word of warning, sometimes the jangling and breathing and everything in between the hits is where the vibe of the track is. So as always, be listening while you're editing to make sure you're not taken away from the music. Strip Silence is a pretty powerful tool and it can easily be abused. So uh, until next time.